All right, welcome back. Today I have another deck, my Urabras deck. And what we're going to be running is three Fading Hopes, return target creature to its owner's hand, but you can scry if its mana value is three or less. Play with fire, deal two damage to any target. If the player is dealt damage this way, you can scry one. Impulse, we're going to run four of these. Look at the top four cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the rest at the bottom of your library in any order. We're going to run four lightning strikes, deal three damage to any target. We're going to run four third path iconoclast. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create a 1-1 one, one colorless soldier artifact creature token. We're going to run two Baral and Karizevs, a uh, first strike menace. And whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell each turn, you may cast a spell with lesser mana value that shares a card type with it from your hand without paying its mana cost. If you don't, create First Mate Ragavan, a legendary 2-1 red monkey pirate creature token. It gains haste until end of turn. We're going to run three Meeting of the Minds, draw two cards, but you can convoke it by tapping creatures to help cast it. We're going to run two big scores. Uh, you discard a card, but you get to draw two cards and create two treasure tokens. We're going to run three Stoke the Flames, which you can convoke and deal four damage to any target. We're going to run three Urabrask, uh, first strike, and whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, he'll deal one damage to target opponent, and you can add one red mana, but you can exile him. If you cast three or more instant or sorcery spells this turn. And he'll turn into the great work. And at stage one, he'll do three damage to target opponent and each creature they control. At stage two, you'll be able to create three treasure tokens. And in his final stage, until end of turn, you may cast instant or sorcery spells from any graveyard. If a spell cast this way would be put into a graveyard, exile it instead. Then we're going to be running two Leer, Disciple of the Drowns. Spells can't be countered, and as long as it's your turn, each instant or sorcery card in your graveyard has flashback. And the flashback cost is equal to the card's mana cost. And finally, we're going to be running City on Fire, which you can convoke. If a source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals triple that damage instead. Uh, for lands... Basic Utilities, Ottawara, Tokens in. We're going to run some Pain Lands and some Storm Carved Coast. Now, the idea for this deck is to use your third path, Iconoclast, and start pumping out a bunch of little soldier tokens. So that way, you can get City on Fire pretty much out for free. And with Leer, you'll be able to play all those spells a bunch of times. Uh, Barl and Karizev will help you play them for free, but Urabrask will be doing damage uh, the whole time that you're casting these spells. So it's kind of like an interesting take on like a burn deck, but not really a burn deck, but it could be. Because if you have the city on fire out, your lightning strikes are going to be doing like 9 damage a crack, so it's pretty good, but... I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the games. Uh, I know I sure did. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.
subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because subscribing makes you feel good.